Hi, everybody. Pastor Sarah Ritchie here, coming at you from the sanctuary of First Christian Church in San Bernardino, California. Woohoo! And today is December the 1st. I happen to be in the sanctuary of the church I am proud to serve. So I'm looking at this kind of uh, physically distanced creche. This is a creche we put up every year. We put it up at the beginning of Advent. It stays up through Christmas and on to the first day of Epiphany when it is finally taken down. And as you look at this creche, you will see that we have kind of a conflation of the story. So over here, let's do a little close up here. We have Matthew's version, which speaks of the Magi coming to uh, see the baby Jesus. And then over here, we have the shepherds arriving. That is in the Gospel of Luke. And then, of course, here are the main uh, characters of the story, Mary, Joseph, and the baby. Now, some churches choose to um, take the, the baby Jesus out until December the 24th. We don't do that. We leave him in our crash, I think with the idea that Jesus is with us always. And if you look at our crash, you'll see that it was purchased quite some time ago. It's probably um, a good reflection of historically who we were here in San Bernardino. For many years, we were mostly a largely Anglo church. Now we are uh, a mixed race church and we are an open and affirming congregation. But our crash is something historical to us and so it looks like us, some of us anyway. <laughs> and um, I find it beautiful that so many churches try their best to imagine themselves into the story of the coming of Jesus. And so if we were in a predominantly African-American church, I would bet you that this crash would look a little different, or Hispanic, or um, Asian, or um, Pacific Islander, what have you, because we all want to be in the manger on that night when Jesus was born. So I hope that you all are at peace. I pray that um, you are enjoying this day and that you are celebrating the coming of the Christ child with anticipation, with hope, with love, with peace and joy. And may God bless each of you. Be sure to continue to practice physical distancing, to wear your masks and wash your hands. I pray all of you are well, that your families are healthy and well. May God bless all of you. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.